thank you for signing up for Physics 102 this fall. My name is Wes Johnson, and this is a dramatic reading of the syllabus for this course. The class is scheduled to meet every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 8.45 p.m. via video conference. We're going to have eight different units, starting with the first one, on oscillations in which we will connect circles, springs, sine waves, and sound. The next unit will be on waves and optics. Waves add up, bounce back, and combine together to make patterns. Then we will connect telescopes and microscopes and binoculars and eyeglasses with ray diagrams and refraction. Finally, we will have electric charges, feel forces, and then take those first four units and combine them together and have a midterm exam. Each unit takes about 10 days, and the midterm covers the first half of the class, and then we'll get on to the second half of the class in which we will let charges store energy and develop voltages. The real fun starts, though, with unit 6, because that's where charges will run through circuits. And moving charges means magnetism, electromagnetic induction, and even light. Our final unit will be on modern an introduction to modern physics. It's not as strange as you think. It's a whole lot stranger. Then we'll have a final exam on the final four units, the second half of the course. Here it is again, the midterm, the final, unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, the midterm, unit five, Unit 6, Unit 7, Unit 8. Don't forget, online meetings every Tuesday and Thursday. That gives us about three meetings per unit. What will we do then? Well, more on that later. The real question, though, is where does my grade come from? And the answer is here, mostly from the midterm and the final exam, which count for 60% of your grade. So you got to do well on those tests. The good news is, though, that you'll know exactly what the tests will be like, how long they'll be, and what to expect, because there is a practice midterm and a practice final available for you on Blackboard. So no curveballs on those tests, and you'll have plenty of time to take them. Also on Blackboard are resources for each unit. They're found here under the Handouts tab. I had to put them somewhere, so we call them Handouts. There is a required textbook for this class, the Knight College Physics textbook. On Blackboard, you'll find lecture notes, kind of a best of the textbook. You'll also find videos, kind of like this one, where the guy talks way too fast. You'll also find homework solutions. See, I'm already giving you the homework solutions. My hope is that you'll read the problem, work it out yourself, check it your, what you did against the solution and make sense of the material. There are workbook problems and solutions available online as well. For every unit, you'll digest all that and create for yourself one to two pages of notes, a reflection, we'll call it a reflection on the material. My hope is that your reflection will be something that will help you take the midterm or take the final exam. So you'll email that to me or submit it via Blackboard for every unit. For every unit, there is also an online lab activity, a multi-page worksheet for you to complete. There is also a quiz for every unit add up all those quiz questions and you'll get an idea about what sorts of questions to expect on the midterm and the final. There is also for every unit an expectation that you will participate. You'll add two different posts to our discussion board. Hopefully you can be a resource for other students in the class and use them as a resource. The discussion board is found also on Blackboard's. And again, with three meetings per unit, we'll figure out how it works as we go along. But I'm thinking one meeting will focus on the lecture, one meeting will focus on the lab, and one meeting will be able to focus on solving problems. That was a quick run through of the syllabus. Please send me an email if you have any questions. I'm looking forward to a pretty good semester. Let's do this thing.